Attainment, Women and Discovery. This episode, Chemist Andrea Sturley. Her topic, Discovering Value in Toxic Waste. And uh, I'm the kind of chemist that you call a natural products chemist. And what that means is I look in the natural world to find solutions for a lot of life's most pressing problems. I got to know Andrea Sturley on the sunny banks of the Berkeley Pit as we danced the Cool Water Hula, an activist art event choreographed by Missoula performance artist Christy Hagen. It called for townswomen and men to sing and storytell with gentle hands and sways, bringing awareness to the billions of gallons of toxic water contained in the Berkeley Pit, right in the middle of Butte, Montana. So what we're trying to do is see what nature does that can help make the world a better place. And in doing that, we kind of look in some different ecosystems. Now what I'm currently looking for are different ways of dealing with a number of different disease scenarios. My primary focus is looking for anti-cancer agents. And in that search, I'm finding out that inflammation is probably one of the most important predisposing conditions Gosh, not only for cancer, but for things like multiple sclerosis, Alzheimer's disease, and so many other disorders that we would never really think of as being related. Now, we go out into the natural world, and when I say we, um, I mean my husband and I. I'm lucky enough to be able to work with my life partner of 32 years. We do all of our science together, in addition to just about everything else we do together. And we, we try to find what kind of cures nature might provide for us. Looking at the natural world and asking sort of Aboriginal people what they would do was a very logical approach to healing. And it turned out a lot of people in our field were following these very logical approaches, what we call biorational. And so Don and I decided it would be fun to go in a bio-irrational way. And it coincided with um, Don getting a job here in Butte, Montana, which is an old copper mining town, and living about a mile from one of the largest open pit mines left in the United States. We were lucky enough to have the Berkeley Pit about a mile from our lab. And the Bureau of Mines and Geology generously donated water samples to us, and we started looking for life in the pit. Because we thought anything that grew in the pit would probably be unusual, and it would be something that nobody else had looked for. And one of the things that was intriguing to me, I started looking at uh, oh, different parts of the body that are associated with inflammation, or what inflammation actually means in living systems, and a lot of times, low pH is one of the hallmarks of uh, different organelles in cellular systems, things like the lysosome, that are involved in the inflammatory process. Well, wouldn't it be interesting if organisms that were evolving with this developing aqueous system that the pit was now turning into, somehow were able to combat inflammatory processes. And could we apply that to the human system? So of course we wrote a grant trying to find if we could look at this toxic wasteland as a source of microbes that could produce compounds that would cure cancer. Well, every organism that one can isolate produces compounds that if we can figure out how to use them, we can find tremendous benefit from them. And of course we figured that anything growing in the pit was probably something that had never been seen before because nobody expected it to harbor life. And so anything we discovered would be something new. And as we've looked for remediative solutions for Butte and what mining has done to the town, and in some ways sort of the social justice issues of what happens to a town, after a, a profitable mining venture dwindles away, we're also able to sort of look at some of the excesses and maybe the ugliness that's been left behind, the toxic waste 
and see that even in toxic waste there can be value. For Andrea Sterley's full interview, giving details about her life and discoveries, please visit my website at laureensheba.ca.